mean, a guy can't ask to see a girl's vagina before they start dating. He can if she's a hooker. Sorry, go on. So we meet for coffee, right? And I start talking about work and she stops me right away. Says she wants to cut through the chit chat and get to her list. She had a list? She had a list. She said she'd been on over 50 dates and uh, you know, instead of wasting time, she just boil it down to a list of questions. Five questions. One, if I had a job. Two, if I lived alone. Three, was I vegan? Four, have I ever been arrested? And five. I think it was my dick. Ooh, and the answers were? Yes, yes, no, no. I mean, she was cute. I mean, really cute, but I mean, there was no ceremony. I just had to whip it out right there in the coffee shop. Yeah, how'd that go? I thought the concept of showers and growers was widely accepted. <laughs> so, uh, we did just need to have a Thank you. Where did you meet her? On a dating site. Oh, I, I did not know my bosses one time for a dating site. I should have used ask hyphen them hyphen out dot com. I will kill you. And you got fired? <clears throat> no. Did get a couple of date offers. Oh, uh, oh. And a promotion? Uh no. You must get lots of money. What was that? Oh, nothing. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> should they move you right up that carpet ladder? Yeah, at the bottom, put it in the skirt. How do I hit you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was called okay. the corporate train. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh. Oh. So, hey, thanks for doing this. I mean, I think uh, it's probably going to be fun. I'm John, I'm the captain of Show Your Balls. I did not name the team. Who, who, who named it? I was going to go transgender, you know, see what it was like, write about it. That was the title I came up with. Well, what made you not, uh, not do it? Some guy did it. I wrote a children's book. Everyone's got a taint. They're making a movie next year. Uh, so every week we meet here at Society Billiards. That's where everybody plays. And uh, it's the pool league. We show up, we shoot pool. We form lasting friendships. Has your team ever won anything? In league? Oh, we got a trophy for division um, a couple of years ago. We came close to Vegas, but just, you know, couldn't do it. So It's frustrating. I mean, don't get me wrong. We hang out. It's a good time. Drinks with my friends. We have fun. I'm just tired of losing. So, um, how long has the team been together? About five years. Oh, I forgot that this was this week. Where were you last night? I missed you. And mom, this is why you don't have Gary Do you mind? We could adopt. Honey? Don't give me the silent treatment. <laughs> what's, the, what's the best thing about pooling? 
best thing about poor... Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. What's your favorite thing about poor? Um, I like all the bending and stretching. Well, obviously drinking. It's not the people. I mean, my team's okay. I mean, my team's great. My team's great. But drinking. <laughs> all this sex. My favorite thing about Pool League, it's like this. So I came to New York. 1993, I was 18 years old. You know, I did a lot of sneaking out into bars, breaking in, and I like I was at the Anvil one night. And I meet this really super hot guy, and we go home, and he's got this whole sort of like dungeon setup. He's really into SM, which is great because it's like knowing how angry God is with you while you're doing something he's so angry about. So it's like the bruises just help bring the absolution. Are you an alcoholic? Are you single? I'm on the pill. Thanks. Hey, so what's your favorite thing about Pooley? My favorite thing about Pooley? Oh my goodness, there are so many things. Let's see. Um, I love how I love how earnest people are. <laughs> Shut up, ginger bastard. <laughs> Fuck. What's your favorite thing about Pooley? You look tired. That is a really fucked up thing to say to a girl slash woman slash lady, depending on age. How old are you? <laughs> like when the girls are shooting and they bend and stretch. Like if they're wearing a blouse and they have to bend over. Or if they're wearing a skirt and they have to bend over. This is like my new best friend. This thing takes great video. So there we are at his house and I'm just like fucking him fucking him all night long and we're just going crazy and it's like headboard and head and all that stuff and I pick up this paddle he has it's like a crucifix right shaped like a crucifix and I'm just beating his ass with it and he's just going nuts oh this is a good one good uh is that Jennifer <laughs> <laughs> can you email that to me sure well, it's an opportunity to be hit on by a really wide spectrum of the population. No. 35? Fuck you. 38? And of course the, the paddle leads to a discussion about, you know, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And suddenly the whole thing's just like, done. It's over. And it's like... Everything that was going on is suddenly negated by the fact that I'm an evangelical Christian and I like, it's just, where's the disconnect? And with pool, all they care about is whether or not you can play pool. So, you know, I don't have to talk about religion, about politics, about my upbringing, nothing. I just have to be able to play pool. And that's what I like about pool. I guess I, I just, I like hanging out with my friends. I, I got a pretty good feeling about the season. So, maybe you guys will be our good luck show. Lucky Charms My Ass. <laughs>